in our system or in our body we have what is called the ISS or immune surveillance system just like our paramilitary forces and the military forces guarding our country we have our immune surveillance which keeps us healthy during neoplastic transformation a new antigen is developed on the tumor cell the host immediately recognizes these new antigens as non self antigens so immediately cell mediated immune reactions are triggered to attack these non self tumors by the immune surveillance system immune response acts as surveillance system to detect the new mutated cells and to eliminate newly arising neoplastic cells this is how we normally overcome the formation formation of tumor in our system in our day to day cell division how does the immune surveillance system work it works by more than one mechanism these include one the natural killer cells also called the nk cells these are specialized immune cells which directly kill the tumor cells of course helped by uh, factors like interferon and interleukin 2 interferon and interleukin 2 help the natural killer cells to kill the tumor cells cytotoxic t cells these special form of t cells are are there to um, to kill directly the tumor cells by the cytotoxic activity cell mediated t cells are effect of these t cells the effect of t cells they, they produce and release a variety of lymphokines these effect of t cells release macrophage activation factor which activates the macrophages and these macrophages in turn engulf the tumor cells or they produce gamma interferon or interleukin 2 which in turn activate the natural killer cells and then kill the tumor cells or these effect of t cells can produce what is called the tumor necrosis factor or kick time it is also called and this tumor necrosis factor is again a form of a chemical substance which will uh, kill the tumor cells so in addition to these three mechanisms there is what is called an antibody mediated mechanism of immune surveillance through our b cells which we will see in our next slide in addition to the three other mechanisms which you have seen in the previous slide the immune surveillance also takes place through our b cells the tumor associated antigens stimulate the production of specific antibodies by host b cells these specific antibodies bind together onto the tumor cell surface leading on to the destruction of the tumor through either of the mechanisms that are listed here once the tumor specific antibodies are attached onto the tumor antigens the destruction or cytotoxicity uh, to the tumor cell can occur a by antibody mediated cytotoxicity the cytotoxic t cells then kill the igg coated tumor cells so first of all the antibody coat the tumor cells and then the antibody antigen complex is presented to the immune system and the cytotoxic t cells recognize that this is a, a problem cell and then the cytotoxic t cells are the effect of t cells they kill by the mediation of antibody or sensitized t cells uh, are activated uh, by these antibodies and they activate in turn the macrophages and release the macrophage activating factor or the igg coated tumor cells attacked by macrophages uh, which are sensitized uh, and by the t cells in turn activation of the classical pathway of the complement leading to lysis of the tumor cells so this is in nutshell the the mechan the various mechanisms that are in place normally to check the proliferation or unwanted growth of any cell and see that no tumors are formed in our body that is how the immune surveillance system works but why then in some patients this immune surveillance is not able to cope up with the newer or or mutated cells and why then the tumors are formed will be part of the next slide this phenomenon is called tumor escape 
some of these mutated cells which have been formed in, during the course of cell division due to various etiological factors which we have looked into, they grow and their growth and proliferation is left unchecked by the immune system or immune surveillance system. How does this escape occur? Tumor escape of immune defenses can occur due to any one of these mechanisms. One, reduced levels or absence of major histocompatibility immune molecule on the tumor. Once there are no or reduced levels of immune molecules in the tumor, the cytotoxic T cells, CTLs, cannot recognize these cells as abnormal, so much so the tumor cells escape destruction. Some tumors stop expressing the antigens on their outer surface and bury the antigens or hide the antigens inside the cell and these tumors are called antigen loss variants. Once the antigens are not expressed on the surface of the tumor cell, there is no way the immune system can find out that these cells are abnormal cells and have to be cleared or destroyed. Next mechanism is production of immunosuppressive factors by the tumor itself. That means once the tumor cells are formed, they produce proteins and other chemicals which act as immunosuppressive factors like transforming growth factor TGF beta, this, grow, this goes and, and suppresses the immune system um, and likewise there are many factors, immunosuppressive factors produced by the tumor which hamper with the functioning of the tumor, I mean, immune surveillance system. Tumor antigens may induce specific immunological tolerance by the immune system. Just like when you give small doses of antigens to desensitize a patient of asthma, small doses of tumor antigens when they are presented to the immune system, slowly the immune tolerance develops and the immune system fails to recognize that the foreign cells are mutated cells. So much so, they thrive and proliferate and produce tumor mass. There are some more mechanisms of tumor escape which we will see in our next slide. To continue with the tumor escape, tumor cells have an inherent defect in the antigen processing and presentation. For any antigen to be recognized by the immune system, the antigen has to be processed and presented to the immunocytes. Then the immunocytes recognize and then either through the T cells or through the B cells, they, they destroy the tumor cell. But if the tumor cells, in, uh, tumor cells behave in such a way that their antigen is defective in presentation and processing, then the immune system will not be able to recognize them. Blocking of the receptors of the T cells by specific antigen antibody complexes after shedding of the tumor antigen. When the tumor antigen is shed into the circulation, the tumor antigen triggers antibodies and these antigen antibody complexes, they come and coat and block the I mean, receptors of the T cells so that the T cell receptors are not able to see the tumor cells and then thus preventing the tumor cells from being recognized and attacked by the T cells. Antigens on the surface of the tumors may be masked by celiac acid containing mucopolysaccharides. Some of the tumors secrete mucopolysaccharides, something like celiac acid containing mucopolysaccharides, MPS. These MPS get coated on the tumor surface or the cell surface of the tumors itself so that the tumor antigens are not presented or not amenable to be seen um, by the immune system. Lastly, immune suppression of the host can occur. The tumor itself can produce immunosuppression uh, of the entire mechanism of immune surveillance. Just as in a patient of transplant, we give immunosuppressive drugs and suppress the immunity. Here, the tumor uh, factors itself, they, they suppress the immune system in such a way and uh, that can result in tumor escape. So, this is, uh, uh, these are some of the mechanisms how the natural defense of our body is breached and the immune surveillance is overcome and tumor escape occurs and tumors start developing and proliferating in various organs of some of the patients.